Hey guys, what's good? And today I'm going to be doing something a little different. So you may not know this about me, but I am a huge fan of Warhammer and of Warhammer 40k games. And it's just been announced that Space Marine 2, you know, the latest Warhammer 40k game coming out in, I believe, September, is going to have online modes in PvP. I'm hoping that this will be a good thing because Dark Tide was the last real Warhammer 40k game that came out that was mainstream, had online game modes, and the game was fun, but it also died pretty quickly. And I don't want the same thing to happen to Space Marine 2. I mean, as you can see from the gameplay on screen, it's going to be a first person shooter. And, you know, the visuals of the game look spectacular. I think, you know, the world building is cool, especially for people who are not fans. But I'm going to react to the trailer for the PvP announcement and just give you my thoughts as a Warhammer fan and, you know, whether I think this game will do well or die out or whatever. All right. We kill it. We break the synaptic connection. Oh, and just for you guys who don't know, this, that guy here is called Captain Titus. He's really cool. Just saying. Scatter like rats. And if you're wrong, if it's not there, Hello, Viking man. I cannot afford to throw men after a hunch. Give me two squads, three space marines. Okay, so the one thing that I do like is they're trying to model it off, I guess, um, if you, if you guys play Warzone, you know that you can have like team-based mission games where you like capture the flag or you hold an area and you fend off the other opposing side. I guess that's what they're trying to copy for Warhammer. And I can't remember, but I think you you do have different classes, but let's see. That's all I can spare. Brief them immediately. Kalasa. Ooh. We are almost there. What is your status? Look at these visuals, though. How can you not love Warhammer? Acknowledge. Proceeding to relay. Lassa on the march to take that. Okay. One thing that I do think is sick is look at the potential customization. In Warzone, for example, the customization mods are cool. And I know they've tried to add um, a few ones in recent days, in recent, uh, recent days, in recent months and stuff. But look at this. Look. Oh my god, like look at all of like the Roman stuff and oh. I hope they make it so that you actually have to build up your skill level to get these, that you can't just buy them. Because if you can just buy them, it kind of takes away some of the fun of the game. But, okay. Hide tyrants ahead. Maintain box reports. Clear that wall climbing stuff. Death to all Xenos. Okay, one thing that I am a little bit scared is this looks like you're playing with an online squad, but you're facing bots. Like you're just facing hordes of enemies, but you're you're basically fighting AI, which is what um Dark Tide was basically all about. You didn't really fight other players, you fought AI or different levels of AI. I'm hoping that's not the route they go here. I know there's gonna be so this is the co-op operations, which you know is great, looks nice, the maps are cool. I guess this is how you can build some of your, your skill levels to build your classes and get better weapons and stuff. But what I'm interested in is PvP. The PvP, I think, is what is going to make this game, like put this game on the map as the Warhammer game. Maybe the game that brings in people who don't necessarily know it and build that online gaming community for Warhammer. The classes are cool, guns look cool, the map looks smooth, I can see they've got different legions. I personally am a fan of the Iron Warriors and if they have Iron Warriors, Oh my god. Okay, so this is meant to be the trailer for PvP. It's 33 seconds long, whereas the co-op was like 10 minutes, which I don't get. Like, Games Workshop, Saber, what are you guys doing? PvP is what we want as Warhammer fans. Come on. Okay. Oh, you see? Oh. Okay, so this is a Death Guard and this will be a Black Legionnaire, but... If they can do the different um, traitor mode, so it's only 6v6. 6v6 is great, but think about Warzone, for example. Could you imagine a Warzone map that's only 6v6? That's tiny, that's boring. They should do like 12v12 at least. Like, I can't remember, what even is the minimum? Um, Let me check. Okay, so for DMZ, it's six-man squad. Okay, fair enough. I didn't play a lot of DMZ, but I don't know. Maybe they could do a situation where you've got like an open map and you allow people to enter the map as squads and play against each other. I don't I don't know. I think that would be cool. 6v6 is basically like Warzone equivalent of DMZ, which is cool. But I mean, who fucking plays Warzone DMZ? Do you play Warzone DMZ? I don't. I either play the open map with the open lobby, or I'll play squad games where there's like four, five, six different squads playing off against each other. And I think that's where they should head for PvP. Otherwise, again, the game is just gonna die. I 
I like the use of the melee. The melee will be cool. I like that you can ju you can also cust. I'm assuming you can customize your actual like your swords, your knives, not just your guns. That'll be a nice feature of the game that maybe sets it apart from Warzone, where like you know there's basically zero melee. but a taste of what is to come. I mean, I hope so. If they can get this game right, I think this could be the game that puts Warhammer Gaming on the map. And what is going to make that the case is the PvP. The PvP is what will make this game.